enamel pens, round pens, brooches, you name it. I'm obsessed. I've been a collector since ever. I thought leaving them on my dresser inside is the easiest way to pick what I want to wear. It got really crowded and messy as you can see. I tried boxes and cans, but I came to this conclusion that the best way to keep your pins alive is to actually display them. So I've gone through my not so tidy stuff looking for something to do the trick and I finally found what I needed. Obviously not in the best way though. This is an ice cream box and I'm gonna take advantage of the lid. Let's wipe it up a little bit. It had been catching dust over my bookcase for ages now, so yeah. I wanted to cover it with something or color it, but didn't find these colors appealing. First thing I did is I took all of my pens out and tried to separate them. The round ones alone and the enamel ones alone. Almost every pen I have has a certain memory or a story and I can totally say that they're not just colorful pieces I glam myself up with. I'm emotionally attached to all of my pens. And here goes the last one. It's really a very simple and an easy way to display my pens. It's colorful, it's giving me good vibes already, and it literally makes my life easier. No hard time finding the right pen or oh I forgot I had it kind of situation. I attached a string on the back of my lid and hung it next to my dresser. I'm really happy with it, I think I did a good job. Regarding the clutches, I keep them in this tiny drawer next to the board. They all got the same standard size, so any clutch will work just fine. There are so many creative and cute ways to style your clothes and stuff, so I'm gonna show you my favorite ways to display them. We all know that enamel pens look great on clothes, I personally love pairing a button-up shirt with unique fun pens. I add two of the same pen or even two different ones on my collars. I think they update all of my outfits no matter how simple my shirts are. Here I kind of picked one color scheme and stuck with it. Rocking my backpack with a couple of a flare here is something I often do, but what I recommend is actually try them on the straps. I love to see people's reactions to this pen especially. This is a Freda tote bag and I pretty it up by adding a tiny Freda pen. I thought being matchy-matchy here kind of looks cute. For this bag, I want it to parallel something with the sun, so I added this cutie. And of course, on the strap, I always go for straps. And in your wallet, put something that you will always encourage you to spend less or more money. It's up to you. I like to glamour up my scarf with a little pen. It gives it a character and also protects it from falling. I love to wear bandanas or kerchiefs and here since it's army thing I decided to rock it with little Mr. RJ. This trend is one of my favorites. You can add a little flair whatever you go by glamming up any pair of shoes with a pen and you don't have to even it out. I think it just looks fabulous the way it is. I totally advise you though to use the round pens because the enamel ones might hurt your foot. So these plants go perfectly with my shirt. So instead of, you know, just wearing them on the shirt, I thought spicing up my black pants by lining them around the front pocket is a cool idea. And no, they don't poke through, so go ahead. And finally, if you want to give any regular build a personality, try adding your little touch with a pen that goes with the outfit. 
I hope this roundup got you inspired to always adding statements and showing personalities. Thank you for your time.